Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Happy Halloween. So I thought I'd do something a little different. Instead of a EDC everyday carry video, I do a EDPC, an everyday paranormal carry. So what I have here is a little, little sling bag and it has some, some items in it in case I end up someplace it's abandoned, spooky, you think it's haunted, and you want to do a little investigating. So, this isn't a very big bag. You can see it's pretty small compared to my hands. And it's pretty, pretty chucked right full. But, we'll just go through it. Um, it's not organized all that great, but this is a pretty good bag. Like I said, it's a sling bag, one shoulder strap, and you can carry it around the front of you so you have easy access to the stuff inside. But a couple of things on the outside, obviously a lot of haunted places uh, will be dark, so you definitely need a flashlight. Now, this one's a Olight i5T. It's pretty bright. It's 300 lumens. It'll definitely get you around a, an abandoned building. And um, works pretty good. It's got a pocket clip, reversible pocket clip. You can actually hook this on a, you know, the bill of your ball cap. Use it for a headlamp. So, you gotta have one personal flashlight. This one's the Olight S1R Baton 2. It's a little one with a magnetic base, so it'll stick to anything metal you want to put it up. And the good thing about this is it has the moonlight mode. And I can't remember exactly how many lumens it is, but it's very dim. So if you don't want to light up a room with like 300 lumens or, or the thousand that this puts out on high, you can use it and low plus it does have you know several modes that's high that's like a thousand lumens it's got strobe so yeah these are perfect lights again you can clip this on your bill of your hat use it for a headlamp you can stick it to something metal to light up an area so this is good to have and actually inside i think it's in this compartment i do have a wildtac ho1 headlamp and thing with this it does ha it has low mode it might be dead but that's got several modes Uh, that's one thing. Make sure your headlamp and lights are charged up. And, but, headlamp works good when it's charged. Um, on the side, I do have a Sharpie marker. They come in handy. In this front pouch, just got a notepad. I got a one pen, two pens, so you definitely want to take notes, record findings, time, and all that stuff, location, time, so notepad, some pens, um, better off, you know, preferably have a right in the right notebook and, and a Fisher Space Pen or something that you don't have to worry about this thing getting wet or whatnot and you can still take notes yeah you need a notebook some pens got several flashlights and i got this little flashlight this is another old light the i3e but what's good about this it actually has a twist top to activate it so what you do 
you get it just so it's right on the verge of turning on. Then you can set it someplace. And supposedly you can ask a spirit to light this up. And being a twist top, supposedly it's easy for them to turn it on. So, little twist top light. Good way, you know, possible way of communicating. So I got that. Anything else in here? Got a little bottle of hand sanitizer. Comes in handy. You always need that. Guess that's it for that. So, get in the cameras. Probably the best cam you got is your cell phone. You can take video, you can take pictures, you can record audio. So, number one tool is probably the cell phone you have on you. So, whether you have a, a EDCP or EDPC bag at, with you, you still have your cell phone. So, that's good. So, got a GoPro. GoPros are good. Different modes. You can do a time lapse. You can do all kinds of different things. Different mounts. You can mount it someplace. Then, I have a little Sony. What is this one? I don't even know what kind of. It's a CyberShot. DSC. HX90V. It's a nice little point and shoot camera. It does have a flip up screen. Um, takes excellent photos, excellent videos. And it's got a really good zoom. It's got a, I don't know what, what the zoom is, but it really does have a good zoom on it. So any kind of point and shoot little camera, digital camera, works great. Um, Along with all electronics, got a little power power bank, keep things charged up. And then here, I have a Zoom H1 Handy Recorder. It's a digital recorder. You use one of these, you know, to you ask questions and see if you catch a EVP, which is a electronic voice from phenomenon. So. A voice recorder is good, digital voice recorder, and you, you set it on wave and, you know, settings, and supposedly you can catch spirits talking. Now back here, you know, I got a few tripods, in case you don't want to sit there and hold the camera, you can set it up, you can set the GoPro up. Let it set, set in one area while you're investigating a different area. But this has got bendy legs so you can wrap it around something, a railing or whatnot. So a tripod. I got a couple of little tripods in here. There's another one, bendy legs. And another little tripod in case you want to you wanna mount the zoom digital recorder on leave it running leave the area so you can come back and check later that works pretty good so yeah a couple of tripods um here got a digital thermometer 65.3 degrees out here so as you can see it's got a laser so you know where you're pointing it. That's reading about 68.2, 68. I mean, take this. 67.1. Let my hand rest on it for a minute. See if it reads different. Yeah, see, 77.2, it's dropping, 76, so it's very, very sensitive, pick up slight temperature variations, and the reasoning is supposedly 
spirits. They draw energy to, and they'll create a cold spot. Sometimes, I guess, they could actually create a hot spot. So you can actually, you can scan around the room, look for a real cold spot. Maybe a, maybe a spirit's in that corner of the room watching you. This is one way you could kind of find out. Uh, got some masks back here in his back pocket. Got a snack. You want a snack? Oh, yeah. And on the side here, this thing is actually a water bottle holder. Put this around the neck of the bottle, clip it in there. You can attach this to your belt, side of the bag, like that. So you gotta walk, you know, get, you wanna stay hydrated. Have a snack, have a bottle of water with you. So that's just an extra little thing. Uh, on the side here, I have attached a little compass. Now, a compass like this is a makeshift EMF detector, um, electromagnetic field detector. Um, that's way one way you can. One tool people use, there's a difference in the magnetic field, it might be a spirit. And if this thing, you got this sitting there, and you got your light on low, just keeping an eye on that, or a camera pointing at it, and this thing starts moving, acting all screwed up, maybe a spirit's there. And on the other side, it has a thermometer, so you can um, keep track of the temperature. So I don't have a real EMF detector. This this actually works. It's a you know, budget budget um, EMF detector. And I don't know. Magnet on the back. Set that down. You want to make sure it's flat. Yeah, see? I don't even have to get very close. This is a pretty strong magnet. You stick it on something that's going to stay. But yeah. I might be screwing my compass all up now. So, this has a back compartment in the back. Have things like... I got a roll of painter's tape. You can use gaff tape. You know, if you want to secure the voice recorder the the digital recorder to you know a wall you can tape it on it's not going to mark up the wall right so good thing to have uh what else got another thing a hand sanitizer always good to have got a little boo boo kit Band-Aids, some creams, some ibuprofen, toothpicks, you never know. You're walking around in the dark, you could scrape and get something, cut cut your arm or get scraped up. Little, little first aid boo-boo kit. And then, in the back I have all the, you know, cords to use the battery battery bank to charge stuff up and a multi-tool now this is a Gerber MP600 I believe pliers you got file you got a knife you got a couple of screwdrivers and all these tools do lock when they're open you got a serrated blade and you got a bottle opener, can opener, screwdriver. That's just a thing for a lanyard. But a decent multi-tool always comes in handy. You don't know what you, what you might need it, need it for. <clears throat> you might need it to tighten the tripod, the screw to the camera or whatnot. And a good multi-tool is good to have. But yeah, I guess that's it in my, my little... EDPC bag, my everyday paranormal carry bag. 
And I just thought I'd show you. You don't need all the high-tech tools. You know, you need a flashlight. This is pretty high-tech. Digital thermometer. You can buy um, digital recorders at Walmart for 30 35 bucks. This is a Zoom. That's a good one. I have a wind cat, you know, dead cat thing cover it in case we're outside and it's windy and it'll muffle the wind sound. Um, compass is a good makeshift budget EMF detector. I'll get a new one someday. Obviously, you need flashlights that are charged up and ready to go to see. Um, little light with a magnet to stick on something. Like I said, the low, the low setting, the moonlight mode, give you just enough light in a dark room to make stuff out without blasting. You know, like you open up the window and the sun blasted in. Little light with a twist tap. And you set it just so it barely goes off. And supposedly a spirit can get close to it and turn it. Who knows. A couple of cameras, point and shoot camera. Notepad and pens to take notes. Oh, and you want a good watch. Um, you want to watch... That tells the time that has a good you know backlight to it so you can see and see the time in the dark record what time multi-tool for whatever reason first aid kit a couple tripods that's it um you could carry a whole lot more you could have a great big backpack full of equipment but just a grab and go paranormal investigation bag this little, I think I got this off Amazon for, I don't know, 11 bucks maybe. It holds all this, all this stuff. So I guess that's it, you know, happy Halloween. And if you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, especially if you're, you know, you investigate the paranormal, what kind of equipment you use. What did you use when you first started out and... If you're more advanced and you have more advanced equipment, what do you have? And I guess until the next video, bye.